what is up guys it is what is it it's tuesday tuesday i think and um i am doing another game art tutorial i'm going to be making a hammer today for a first person shooter not a first person shooter but it's a survival game an indie game the same for the it's the same game i've been working on um it's going to be pretty easy pretty simple so uh yeah, and here we go. I'm going to get some music on like usual. I love to work with music. Let me, um, uh, sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Here's some music going. Like always, so that's a sword I did earlier. Mm, a little too loud, hold up. Okay, there's the chat. There's that. Hey, got some viewers. What's going on, guys? I'm doing a hammer today. I'm uh, going through uh, the concepting right now of it. I already have a reference for it, and I just really want to be able to understand what's going on because if you can understand what's going on that's uh your key, your key to success so really if you think about it this is just going to be obviously two meshes to me this is very this is very important process for myself so you have two meshes like this you have one mesh this is going to be a wood texture and then you have this right so that's very Oh, Morgan, fuck you. Okay, um... You fucked up my train of thought, you bitch. Okay. Whatever. So let's get in and start doing this. I am making a hammer. What the fuck happened? My stream just crashed. Yay. I don't even know what the fuck happened. I blame Mergen. That homo over there. You did break it! How the, f how the fuck did you become a moderator? I didn't give you that. Whatever. Okay. So anyway. Concepting. Very important. This is very simple though. So I'm actually going to, uh... I'm gonna create a new... Like that. Okay, I am changing this music. No, let's let's listen to something different today. Listen to the flogging Molly radio. There we go. Feel the words from my lips to your heart's fingertip. Then you know where I setting up a reference image. Cause I know, yes I know. Everything there is to know Cause I lost everything I had You see, I I could have danced on the sun but Man, I'll just go hammer reference undone. I'm having so bad ADD today with music I don't want to listen to that Listen to. Okay, whatever. If I start getting annoyed to this, I'll change it. 
you always want to have a reference image on your other screen or print it out or you can just pop it in like that Morgan, I really want to know how you became a moderator without me telling you. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you do, man? I feel like I'm getting trolled in real life. But anyway, um, here are these cameras. This is for a video game, so it has to be relatively low poly. So, yeah. I'm making the low poly mesh right now and then I will um, bring it in the mud box and sculpt it out. But I'll go ahead and make that 12 so it's nice and uh, nice and round. Right, that actually makes sense. Alright, yeah, I remember that now. No, but this is a new Twitch. I think I made a new one for that. Who knows? Simple extrusions. Nothing fancy. Just trying to follow this a little bit. What? Back in my day. Okay, so we got that softened. I want to take these. Just go something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, when you were first in, you were on a mod. And then my fucking stream crashed. Like, man, my stream crashed, and then you came back and you were a mod. So I think you fucking did something, you bastard. I'm gonna burn you for it. Let's um, give it a little bit of a, like that. You're not ever going to see these up here. But so I have some viewers, and let's see. None of them have Twitch accounts, but Mergen. You're fucking magic. So, uh, with all y'all that I can't say hi to, make a Twitch account. Ask me questions. If you want me to cover a certain topic, I'll do it. Certain model. Blah, blah, blah. There's that. Wait, fuck. Oh, crap. I love this Irish music. It's great, right? Oh, this looks great, right? <laughs> Alright, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're right. And I select all these. This should give it the effect I'm looking for. Select all these and bevel. Bevel. There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Change offset a little bit. Something like that. And I'm looking at that. There you go. I'm gonna go like that. And this model is actually about done already. To be completely honest, it's um sitting at 122 polys. 
actually about done. So let's um uh, clear this stuff up. I should probably hit save, right? Before something bad happens. Hammer. Alright, so let's throw uh I can get rid of that. You wanna throw uh new material on, go to Lambert, put a trucker on. Select what you want a UV first. And the best way to do a cylinder in my uh, in my um experience is to get in your viewport like that and go UVs based on camera. And then you want to uh Let's see, like this one, it's gonna be cut. Well, actually, no, hold on. Then you just select one of the rings going all the way around it. And then you go to your UV editor, cut it. And then if you have this on horizontal, when you unwrap it, it unwraps it only in the horizontal. And let's see, this is why the trucker's on, so we can check the distortion. You can see this is fucked down here, which is fine. I'll just go to my top view and create UVs, UVs based on camera, and then there's that. It's reversed, so you want to flip that and also loosen it up a little bit. Not loosen it, but you want to do a manual unfold. You always want to be planning for text, you know, like your next step and stuff. So, thinking what I want to do here, and I'm looking. In all honesty, it would probably be the way I'm going to texture it. Well, uh, the, the material that's going to be on it. Probably be the best if I just go like this. Cut it. And let's go one at a time. Like that. And then do the same thing. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. And now select a couple of these. Yep. Keep it like that. There we go. Now that's UV'd. This part will be pretty easy as well. So, you know, how do I want to do this? Probably be easiest to... Uh, actually, let's try an automatic unwrap. Yep, I did that pretty well. So now you just want to uh, fill it in, not fill it in, but just sew them together, like that. Now let's scale this huge and see if there's any crazy distortion. If there is, you would definitely be able to see it, right? Okay, cool. Now you want to make sure these two objects are around this have the same resolution in them. They do they're about the same size so now you just get them scale them uniformly put them in the zero to one space just like that I might scale this one up a little bit just because I can just to have a fit okay UVing's done modeling's done give it a save you uh, want to freeze transformation, center pivot, and delete the history. Um, export selection. This would just be hammer, low poly. This is my sword I was working on earlier. Okay, and then open it. Hammer low poly. Let's go ahead. I have a flat lighting on. I like to work with flat lighting. At least when you're texturing, and that's what I was doing last. But anyway, let's uh subdivide this up a bunch of times. 
go into the sculpt. I love the scrape brush. It gives it a really good look. It does rocks and wood very well. So that's what I'm doing, just beating this up. I'm going to be ba making a normal map out of this. Go through all of this, give us some detail. This is just for the normal map because if you look at all these polygons here, there's a lot of them. This is a really good trick for wood. How's this looking? Sweet. So here's the iPoly version of the handle. And of this, this will be, um, steel so what I want to do is around here is I just want to hit the edges that's actually not enough one more time there we go I just want to hit the edges to give it that brass feel seeing this is using the same exact brush but it's also giving me the exact same thing I want this for the wood that's why I love this brush So I can like sit here and hit. I can flatten this out even more if I want. Give it more facets. Give this a nice facet. Yeah, so if you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on YouTube, and you can follow me on Twitch. The info is running along the bottom of the stream right now. Okay, I got that going. Maybe give it some dents. That's what I'm doing right here. Because it is a hammer, right? It's not going to be perfect by any means. Done it in a little bit. And I was also going to do a, a scratch on a sculpt layer. Which, well, not a scratch, but more of a cut. Take the scrape brush, not the scrape, but the. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, right, Mergen. Like that. I'm just gonna go around and give this thanks for the follow. Just give it some scrap, some, uh. Detail. What you do is then you just take the pinch brush. And you just pinch it together. Oh, I gotta change that in a minute. Because I got a follower. Do that in a one when I'm done doing this. Be like that. 
pinch all these together and then you want to uh, just smooth them out as well a little bit. You know, now we got some, some cool stuff. Where are they all? Did I get them all? And then it's on a sculpt layer so I can bring it down just a little bit. So that's with it and that's without it. And that's at 72%. But I think I gotta change them uh, goal. So hold one second. We got one follower out of five. Oops. Gotta do it manually and okay. Cool. So we got that going. So now they're both done. There's a hammer. So now what you want to do is you select this, select this one, export, export selection, and this will be, um, I'm going to make a working folder called hammer, put the low poly in it, and this will be hammer high poly, it's extracting it. Now to make sure the normal maps get baked right, I need to make sure these are smoothed normals. So just in case I didn't do that, I'm going to go to the hammer, low poly, replace the low poly, and then um, you want to, what am I, you want to open up X normal. Cool little program. I need to erase everything I was doing yesterday. High definition models. So this will be the high high poly. Hammer, high poly, low definition. Hammer, low poly. And just to make sure everything's working right, I'm just gonna make like a 256 by 256 really quick. Because it'll render out in a couple seconds. Hammer. Hammer. I'll generate maps. Let's see if it's gonna make it's gonna work right. Yep, it's gonna work out just good. Close that. Now I can bring this back up to. I'm gonna work at a 2K resolution. Then I'm gonna downscale it, or the level designer is gonna downscale it. But I need an AO, a normal, and a cavity. Normal's already hit. Um, bucket size is good. Edge padding. But what you really wanna do is you hit ray distance calculator because I don't have a cage. So I'm gonna hide a uh, well for my low to high poly model, well high to low poly model and what this does is it just uh, basically calculates the distance around both the meshes to figure out how far it needs to search so I'm letting this um usually want to let it go for like a minute or so and as I'm doing that I'm going to Maya I can set this back to um, Lambert. Making just making sure everything's fine. Go ahead and uh, make sure there's no angons or anything like that. And since it's gonna have the same texture map, I'm gonna combine both of these. And name this Hammer. Freeze. Every I always uh, freeze transformation center pivot and clear my history. I clear it like every 10 seconds just to. Okay, this has been going for 55 seconds, and I usually let it hit 60 and stop, and then you hit copy results, then close, and then you generate your maps. Overwrite. So here's their map coming out. Okay, so now it's going to do the AO and stuff, and I don't need that right now. So I can let that render. I'm going to open up. Why did I open up sword? I want to open up hammer. Hammer's over here. Hammer normals. Open up these. I gotta get rid of this. That's because, um, it tried to combine the normals together, and that's fine. It's a really quick fix. What you do is, uh, I have a tablet out right now. 
you go to the brush tool, you uh, you sample the 256 by 256. What's the 128 by 128 by 256 uh, purple? It's right here. See if you go in, it's uh, 128, 128, 255, 255, okay. gonna paint this out you want to look for any um, any places where they're really dark purple I know around here this is gonna make really bad seams so I'm actually just gonna fix this out myself with a low opacity brush Okay, looking around here, like this is gonna make a bad seam a little bit, so brush that out. Um, as well as right here. Right there, turn that down a little bit. Um, these are okay, actually. Well, this whole entire piece is a little bit too purple for my liking. So I'm just gonna take out the strength a little bit. Is it junky? Yes, it is junky, Cam. What's going on? Streaming a little earlier today. So I got some stuff to do later, so I'm, I gotta do this hammer for, I think this is the last asset I'm doing for uh, that indie game I've been working on, and my contract's up. I might uh, actually change my stream time to uh, 1 p.m. Eastern instead of 3. I've been thinking about it. But if I do that, I'll, uh, I gotta change all my crap and... Hammer normals. Okay, I'd fix the normals. Now let's test these normals on this low-poly hammer. New material, Lambert. You go to bump mapping. File, change this to tangent. Hit the arrow, hit the folder. Hammer, hammer normals, and let's see how it looks. Open it up. Go to high-quality rendering. And here you go. It's still that, but it's just given the. That's what. There you go. Cool. Working out pretty good. Let's give it a quick save. Now you gotta paint. Let's uh, save this just in case I need it in the hammer folder. This will be a hammer sculpt. Then you can go new. Open. And then you want to open up the low poly. This is where I like to paint with flat lighting. I'm going to isolate this. You got UV maps, um, flat UV space. Um, go to paint tools, projection brush. And I'm going to use this wood. I love this wood for handles. But. I'm looking at the, I just remember the reference, it has a, kind of a, a brighter wood. So let's go to my texture folders and go to wood. See if I have one, if I don't, I can make one, not, not hard at all. Well, kind of like this. A little bit, what about that? That's really new. I could fix that. So who we got in here? Who we got? You got two people that don't have a Twitch account. Well, thank you for hanging out. Just uh, looking in my wood folder. Giggity. Um... <laughs> I think I actually have uh, that one already in here. That's a rock. Let's we'll go stencil, add stencil. Find that wood I just found that I kind of liked. Where is it? I just saw it. This one right here, wood color. 
I'm gonna make sure the wood grain's going the right way. Get it scaled about right. Hit use tiles. Paint. Paint right over it. Ah. Pretty projection brush. It's uh, the strength is down all the way. Okay. So now if we uh, unflatten this, you can see it. It's pretty bright. But I'm gonna go to burn. Well, actually, I want to see how bad the bottom is first. It's not the greatest. You can see some seams in there, but the player's never gonna see that. This is a first person, so you're just really gonna see. You would never see that. And it's not half bad anyway, and I'm actually going to cover it up. Like that. Burn the bottom. Bring it up a little bit. Morning. Do the, do the tops and bottoms, because that's where the most of the dirt's going to collect, and then it will get dragged down a little more as it goes. And I'm also going to make a new layer. For you, to, for you guys that have watched my stream before, I'm going to flatten it again. Where is it? Eh, over here. And then I love this moss. Where is it? I just saw it. Actually, I know what to change up the feel. I'm going to use a different type of moss than the one I usually use. Like that. Paint it over it. Change the blending modes to, uh, I like the darker color. Drop it down a little bit. And then you want to paint a race where you wouldn't be seen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a stamp. I'm going to get a stencil and I'm going to grab this. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to erase it with that. So it gives it a, so it's just spotted a little bit. And if I go to flat lighting, there we go, it's still a little too bright. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to burn the entire thing. Not burn. Well, yeah, I want to burn it, but I want to uh, burn the shadows. You want to burn down here. See, it's getting darker, darker. I mean, not that dark. Something like that. And then you want to display, well you want to unflatten it, unlock it, unlock it, keep hitting unlock till it works, unisolate it, then isolate this one, the top, flatten it. <laughs> this music is making me talk so fast, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. But I'm doing the same thing. Just for the top, I have a nice metal material that I have been using for my go-to metal. I actually want this one to be... Eh, you think it should be brighter or darker? Probably darker. And then go to unflatten. Where's it at? Unlock it. Come on, unlock it, buddy. Unlock, there you go. Thank you. Cool. Now you just want to burn the edges, corners, because this is what uh sells objects. Not burn, I'm sorry. Dodge. Not that much. Turn it down a little bit. You don't want to go, I want to burn, I want to lighten up the highs. Just a little bit, just in some spot. Just some space, not, just some places. There we go, thank you. Could not think. For a minute <laughs> and I got to figure out which one's the bottom and then you want to go to burn burn around this because obviously 
a lot of the dirt would be right here. Same as well for right here. Alright. But, uh... I like working with flat lighting because if it looks good in flat lighting, it's only going to look better. So that's about done. And merge it. Export selected. Export a tier folder. Hammer. This is hammer. Diffuse. It's saved. Is this done rendering? This is still rendering. The AO just got done rendering the... It looks like it's rendering the cavity right now. Um, so let's go ahead and open up this. Let's take the normal. Uh, select everything and then copy it. And then open up Crazy Bump. <laughs> I hope you're referring to my talking. I'm like... <laughs> This Irish music's making me talk so fast. Which is good because I have stuff to do today and I just. I have to get going soon and I wanted to get. You know, I like streaming every day. I was. So I started a little early. Um, what am I doing? 3D highlights, bring them up. And then you're gonna save to fuse to clipboard. Go to here. Ah! Hammer normals. Sweet. Open up two of the normals. Hammer diffuse. Drop that to multiply. See, I love that because. Since I did it from the normal map, when you turn this on, this is the detail from the normal map, but it gives you the highs and lows, so you don't have to physically paint them, which is amazing, and that's why I love that technique. Save the, uh, actually not, don't, don't save it yet. Occlusion. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit. Name the AO. So that just gave it a little bit. But, uh, let's get rid of this. Cool. The AO helped up here. And, what's this? Am I getting yelled at? Another game I'm working on. Jeez. Come on! Okay, that cavity map isn't gonna do shit. Stop it, I don't wanna wait. Close that. Not worth it. But I wanna take this. So this is the diffuse. Let's, um, nail that together. Change it, you wanna make a spec. And the spec is where it's if it's 100% white, <laughs> center it. Where it's 100% white, it's um uh, gonna reflect. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna grab a white brush. I'm actually gonna paint it 100% white. Go into here. I'm gonna get a cross hatch hash, hatch brush. And I have a tablet. And I have this on a separate layer, so it's gonna be extremely overblown. But I want it to be scratched in the corners, and then in the corners, I want this to really reflect.
You know, just haphazardly doing this. Which is fine. Maybe I want to have another scratch here. Maybe follow that a little bit. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to go like that. A scratch would never work like that. Now I can go ahead and turn this down. And then here's a spec I just made. Targa, and this would be a hammer. Spec. Okay. And this is the low poly, all good. This stupid sword I was working on for another game earlier. Don't save that. Um, open up this hammer. Hammer low poly. Material, go ahead and make a new material. Diffuse. Hammer diffuse. Hammer normals. Hammer spec. Use specularity. Actually, what I forgot to do. Go here. Export this. It is hammer low. This will actually just be called hammer. Since it's the final version of it. Bring this into your game engine. Actually, I'm gonna do this really quick, and then I'm also I'm, I might bring it into Cry just to see it, because I nailed through this really quick, <laughs> extremely quick. Ah, shit. Hammer normals. Hammer spec. Use that. Hammer, hammer. So let's go ahead and turn the specularity off, just so I, I can see the difference. Turn on spec. See, and these are... You can see when I turn the camera a little bit, at the edges, that's where it... Those are that white stuff I painted in Photoshop. So we got this going. Render, let's uh, turn that up. Make it 3D, yeah, right. Sharpness it up. Make it focus. Light. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Screenshot one. Make my fake stupid stuff down here. Okay, and this is, um... Cool. I remember playing the song on Guitar Hero. Thanks, man. Hammer. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like polys. How many polys is this even? It's it's a stupid low number, like 122, <laughs> like. And it looks like it's so much more. And it's, um, uh... This be... They're gonna be 1K... Maps. Because they get scaled down. There you go. <laughs> that was so quick. I gotta send it off to my dude. Sure, save it as hammer. Let's take a look at it in a JPEG. Ah, not the thumbnail. What the hell happened to it? Let's go ahead and uh, save it again, I guess, eh? 
Hammer. JPEG. Oh, it's screenshot one, that's why. I was like, where is it? That font. <laughs> that's what I always use for uh, this type of stuff. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, I'm gonna send this to this guy. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna do something. Okay, I got that going. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna um, uh, I'm gonna put this into Cry Engine. I just want to see the difference. Ah, uh, shit's coming unplugged. Awesome. Okay, so just let me open up OBS. How long? That took me about 45 minutes to make. And then in the beginning, like my stream crashed, and it was awesome. So anyway, um. What I want to do. That's right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open my diffuse, my normals, and my specularity. And what you need to do if you're going to, for CryEngine, you need to save each one in a very, very certain way. But you go to your cry folder. And you game SDK, levels. I'll just uh, save this in test level. Sure. This should be called a hammer. And you want to save it as a cry tiff. Let's bring this thing up. <laughs> Thanks. Progress is seen. For sure. Choose low Q. No alphas or anything. Choose that for PC. Probably want to choose resolution. I'm going to downscale this once. And hit OK. That's saved. Targa. Recent. I'm going to go to recent places. And then. Hammer. And then go to Cry Tiff. Where am I though? I'm in test level. Okay. Hammer normals. You just want to save this as normal map. And save that. And take this and go save as again. Recent places, go to your hammer. Cry Tiff, Hammer Spec. This would be Specular Low Q. No, I don't want to fix it myself. It can do it. Lower Resolution, 1024. So now you go to here. This would be a. My, oh, it can't be a Lambert. This has to be a Fong. And this would be Hammer. Matt has the bump. My spec. Let's plug in my spec. And where is it? It's my glasses are gone. Where'd they go? I just realized I wasn't wearing them. Levels said test level. Hammer. Spec. Hammer Matt, you wanna... My computer, D drive. You wanna go to... CryEngine, and then Game SDK. Levels. See... Test level. Hammer. Hammer Normals. 
And you take this one. And then you gotta plug in the diffuse map. Which is nice. See, and this is why you always test it in a game engine. Because you can see it now. That looks nothing like it did before. And there is an alpha in here. Why just break that. Thank you. Like, before, like, that looks completely different, right? Even if you put it on high quality and then put an ambient occlusion on it, it still looks nothing compared. Looks like crap. In all honesty. But it's not being rendered, it's fine. Okay, now you want to go to your... Hypershade, not your Hypershade. But your thing, and you're gonna make a group called Hammer, Hammer Group, and then Cry Export Node Underscore Underscore Group. Go to your Crytek settings, go to Validate, and it's gonna throw a bunch of shit at you. Okay, X fixed, fixed. Okay. Uh, opened up Mel. Who else we got in here? Summer! What's going on, Summer? Started a little early today. I think I might be starting around uh, 1 o'clock from now on. If I do, I'm gonna let everybody know when I'm streaming. It's just something I'm thinking about. Just so you can see what I made so far, I'll, uh, I'll bring this up really quick so you can see it. That's what I did so far, Summer. Now I'm just exporting it to uh, CryEngine. Gonna make node types and go to mat add. Create group from selection. This would be. That's good. Hammer material. Meh, meh, meh. And I'll validate it again. Okay, no node type. That's easy. You just go to export. Add attributes. here and hit add attributes. We want to go here. Hammer. I want to save it there for sure. Why isn't it adding my attributes? There we go. It finally hit. Just want to make sure that this has collision over here. Default. Why not? Hit export all. Did it work? It worked. Generate your material files. Thanks, man. Um, since you're learning, um, actually what I want to do is I would like to have some, you know, later down the road, I'd like to have live workshops where we cover certain topics on certain days, and I give you the working files. You know, it's basically like a free classroom, <laughs> you know, online classroom, and go around with some people. You know, I'd like to do it when we get a little more people, so it's just not like one or two people. You know, maybe get, you know, more people in it and stuff. That's when I want to start doing that. And I'll actually let my audience pick what they want me to cover. You know, it's like, oh, hey, I really want to learn some texturing. I really want to learn, you know, this tool in my end. I will go through that day, and I want to do it like that. So, that's the plan. But thanks for, uh... Like in my stream, and I'll spread the word. Okay, so let's go to test level. This is just a test level I have for uh, some of my stuff. I uh, like here's some grass I made from some video game grass. It's kind of funny with the wind and stuff. 
think I had trees and stuff in here too. I thought I did. Yeah, I'm, uh... Oh, here's a dock I did, actually. Made this dock. I did not make this... Ha this Hummer. I just have this so I can, uh... I'll show you really quick why I have this in here. Because you can get into it. <laughs> and drive it around. I didn't do that, though. I did not make this hammer. Hammer. It's Hummer. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh... Okay, what was I gonna do anyway? Okay, geometry. Should be able to go to levels. Test level. Hammer. Dragon's Hammer Group. It's huge. A huge hammer. But what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna um, let's drag it over here. Scale it down a little bit. It's about real size. Like that. I'm just gonna sit it. Not sit it, but I'm gonna rotate it like that, probably. And the Y. Ah! I don't know. What am I doing? The Z, that's what I wanted. Sweet. Just drop it in a little bit. And there's... What am I doing? There's my hammer. In-game. And I haven't even done anything with the texture yet. Did I shoot it? Let's see if it keeps the bullet marks. <laughs> that's fucking aw freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, but yeah. There's an in-game hammer. And that's not taking normal maps, I can tell. So let's go into my material editor. Thanks, man. Let's go to my test level again. Barrel test, what? Hmm. Test level, go to hammer. Hammer material, hammer ma Okay, here we go. Surface type. I want the shader to be... What kind of shader? I'll bring this over here. This is what I'm looking at. I see that's giving it that. Want it to be a gray. And change the glossiness. But yeah, the bump map isn't coming with it. That's a bummer. That's what it is. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it into here. And damn it. And this is called hammer underscore normals dot tiff. Let's see if that referenced it. That's why I didn't make a DDS with it. Did it? Is that... Okay, it did. It's working. I'm just messing with some of the stuff. 
be kind of cool if I could put it in my arm, though. I don't know how to do that. I kind of want to look it up. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to literally Google how to place your own guns in a cry engine. I don't wanna know how to make it, I wanna know how to do it in CryEngine. <laughs> they're not gonna tell you? No, they're just gonna be like, oh, here's how you model it. Looks so good, that water and stuff. Okay, cool. I think I found it, so hold on one second, guys. Okay, come on. I don't care about that. This is why I'm an artist and not a programmer. Yeah. Actually, I want to see how this looks in another level. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Is it forest? Yeah, what happened to my trees and stuff? I think I have like lightning and stuff in this scene. Yeah. Let's hit that mute again. I think I have. sitting there but if you're gonna be working in video games it's very important to uh, be able to test your assets in real time a game engine is the best but in a pinch um, Marmoset Toolbag will work because Marmoset Toolbag is a real-time en engine and that's what this is see how this is in real time I'm moving it But yeah, like in here, you, these normals are really working, and in the engine, they're not working as good, which is a bummer. Let me see here. If I go to grass, does this still work? Right after vegetation, a layer painter, wouldn't it? There we go. Add this. This is what I love about CryEngine. Just let me show you this really quick. I hit my grass, right? Uh, hit that. Paint objects. Then here's this. I'm just gonna paint this really quick. 
I can just paint like that. And then all you do is go to uh, bending. Give it some life. So let's go ahead and uh, bring this back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the music. There's my hammer. Save that. Okay, I gotta fix this. This is sword. Sword can stay here. Hammer can stay here. This. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Sword. I don't need any of this. I don't need that. I hear the. I did that earlier. That's that sword. I need that. I need this reference though, because I'm gonna be a. Um, uh, ah! What? No. I guess I don't need that either. What'd I get? Okay, that's some, um, uh, I'm gonna go. But, uh, D drive. 3D. Hunger game. Ah, not Jason. Hunger Games. Move the sword and uh, well, hammer into here. Cool. Sword that is for siege, and I already have that copied. Who's in her? Summer and some other people that I can't talk to. Hey, Pandora, I'm still listening. I want to kind of look at some of my old stuff. Like, look this Jason thing. What was I doing? I think it was like a Halloween contest or something I did, and I didn't finish. Oh, I remember doing this. I made the hockey mask. And the grave. Oh, jeez. So much work. There's a test I did for... Glue Mobile? Oh, God. I remember doing this, I think, too. This was like one of my first com more po more complex models. I, th I found a tutorial for it. Yup, there's this train. I remember that. Done a lot of stuff over the. What? I've been doing it for almost two years. Rid of all that. Well, there's the main tutorial I did. Now, if you guys want to learn a specific something, please let me know, or else I would just keep just streaming my work. 
I know I need to, uh, well, I know I'm working on my portfolio piece that is, uh, just up here. Um, here's one of their concepts for it. I've been doing some of it. It's the upstairs bedroom. Here's the kitchen. Girls' room. I'm also going to be doing the outside of the house eventually. But yeah, if you guys don't want me to cover any certain topic, I will just uh, start streaming this because I think my contract is done with the survival games for right now, anyway. And I hope them release their alpha. But yeah, today was a really short stream. I have some stuff to do and I just want to do uh, at least something. But if you guys have any anything you want me to cover, send me a message, tweet me, um, anything. But yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter. It's at 3D Junkie. YouTube is 3D Junkie TV, and please give me a follow here. It means a lot. So um, uh, thanks for hanging out. I do apologize that it is uh, a shorter stream today, but yeah, tomorrow um, I will probably I'll probably jump on around one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I think I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna jump on tomorrow at one. See how the views go. Like, if no one's on, I won't do it. But, you know, if there's a couple people, at least, you know, that's a couple people. And that's, I'm happy. I'm happy with helping out a couple people, entertaining them. So, I will see you guys tomorrow at 1. I will, yeah, follow me on Twitter because it always says when I'm live and everything. And thank you guys and have a good one. I will, yeah, follow me on Twitter because it always says when I'm live.